expertise and does not require direct integration of the military profession of arms or civilian professions, except in those cases where it provides a more effective or efficient outcome for defence. Let me use defence industry as an example. Australia does not seek to directly integrate defence industry or its professionals into the Australian Defence Force, or for Australian Defence Force professionals to take on roles that can be done by industry. Rather, our defence white paper has emphasised the role that the defence industry has as a fundamental input into our capability. The government plans on forming a partnership with the Australian defence industry to ensure that the ADF gets the equipment, systems and personnel, they even train defence personnel, it needs on time and budget. This approach doesn't seek to downplay the significance of Australian defence industry in our national security. In fact, defence industry underpins our national support base. It delivers logistic services, health support, fuel, energy and other support that enables the ADF to operate effectively. This approach allows industry professionals to be competitive and innovative and deliver better outcomes to support our warfighting capability. This in turn allows the Australian Defence Force to focus on core warfighting skills and professional warfighting fight mastery, while civilian professions focus on their core business. That said, the Australian Defence Force recognises the importance of integrating some civilian professionals with critical specialist expertise in order to deliver capability into the battlefield. For example, it's usually more effective and efficient to take a medical specialist out of a civilian hospital and employ them as a reserve officer for a short period of time to achieve an operational requirement. Indeed, reservists are an important part of the Australian Defence Force deployed capability on operations within Australia and overseas. Around 14,000 members of the reserves have deployed on operations since 1999, which is around 18 per cent of all Australian Defence Force personnel deployed. There's also certain Australian Defence Force capabilities and specialisations within the profession of arms that provide products and professional services back into the nation when it also suits a military purpose. Perhaps the best example is hydrography. The Royal Australian Naval Hydrographic Service is also the Commonwealth Government Agency responsible for the publication and distribution of nautical charts and other information required for the safety of ships navigating in Australian waters. It's also the Australian Defence Force Agency responsible for the provision of operational surveying support and maritime military geographic information for Australian Defence Force operations and exercises. For our military, hydrography is an essential force multiplier, especially in our joint operations. In parallel, it also forms or fulfils a national requirement driven by Australia's obligation for safety and marine navigation under SOLAS. So to conclude, over the past century, the Australian military has transformed from a mainly part-time citizen military into what is now a predominantly full-time professional military. The Australian approach to warfare has the Australian Defence Force striving to develop and maintain high levels of professional warfighting mastery in order to achieve the defence mission of defending Australia and its national interests in the most efficient and effective way possible. Whilst there have been some calls to better integrate the military and civilian professions for reasons such as nation building, commonality and security, there are also economic and effectiveness costs to such an approach. Governments and commanders must consider these when determining the best method of developing professional mastery in all areas of defence work. Increasing military professionalisation, access to external professionals through reserve service, contracts or civilian employment have proven more efficient and effective models for Australia than a more generally applied closer integration of the profession of arms and other civilian professions. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Captain Shears.